Betterment is a robo-advisor, human advisor, and banking service all mixed into one solid offering for investors. If you're looking for an easy way to save and invest, Betterment may be a top choice for you. This is especially true if you're looking for ways to save for retirement, earn some extra income on your cash, or just want some human advice. In this video, we break down what Betterment is and what it has to offer. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill with The College Investor, investing and personal finance for millennials. If you are new to the channel and you like what you hear, please hit subscribe so you're ready when our next video comes out. And if you decide to open a Betterment account, please consider using the link in our video description as it supports this channel. Thanks so much for considering it. So how does Betterment work? When you create an account, Betterment will ask you some basic questions about yourself in order to determine your risk tolerance. They use these questions as well as your age to determine this. After answering my set of questions, they determined my risk allocation to be 90% stocks and 10% bonds. Yep. Actually, sounds sounds pretty right to me. After determining your risk allocation, you can then set up your chosen account and create a goal. This takes about a minute. The accounts you set up are Roth IRAs, traditional IRAs, SEP IRAs, trusts, house down payment savings, education savings, not to be confused with a 529 college savings account, Betterment's education savings is not tax advantaged. And then there's general savings and crypto investing. After setting up your account and linking up your bank information, you simply choose a goal and Betterment will give you advice. So then how is your money invested, you might be asking? Well, it works like this. Based on your allocation, Betterment will automatically invest your money in a diverse group of index funds. You do no work at all here. You simply deposit your money and Betterment invests it for you. And you can adjust your allocation ratio at any time. If you feel the allocation they give you is too risky or too boring, simply adjust it to what you prefer. How about the minimums, deposits, and fees? Our favorite part about Betterment is there is only a $10 minimum to open an account and no required automatic deposits. This is great news for beginner investors with little money to put down. With that being said, they have two different plans for you to consider. There's the digital plan at $4 per month or 0.25% assets under management. The digital plan costs a straightforward $4 per month for balances under $20,000 and then a 0.25% fee of the account balance for higher balances. However, customers with $250 or more and a monthly recurring deposit pay a 0.25% annual fee regardless of the account balance. That's a nice savings in exchange for automatically investing. That means if you deposit $10,000 into a Betterment account, the annual fee will be $48. If you deposit a $20,000 balance, you'll only pay $50 per year. It's also important to note that the $4 per month fees are accrued daily and calculated based on your average daily account balance. If your average daily balance drops below $20,000, you will accrue the daily portion of the $4 per month fee for that day. Straight from the Betterment website, here's what you get in exchange for that fee personalized financial advice, low cost, globally diversified investment portfolios, automatic rebalancing, advanced tax saving strategies, your entire financial picture in one place, and you can sync external accounts and reliable customer service. Then there's the premium plan at 0.4% assets under management. This plan requires a $100,000 minimum balance. Included in this price is what you would expect, much more hands-on and personal advice regarding your financial situation. For example, the premium service includes all the benefits that we already talked about with the digital plan, in-depth advice on investments outside of Betterment, such as 401ks and real estate and other things, and then unlimited access to Betterment's team of CFPs. These are real humans who can advise you on planning for a child, buying a home, retiring, and so much more. Now let's talk about Betterment's financial advice. What if you have the digital plan, but you still wanna actually talk to a human and get some real help or advice? 
Betterment has that too. Customers at any balance can purchase individual financial advice packages to receive in-depth guidance around various life events. These packages include a personalized action plan and educational content related to the life event or financial goal that you're seeking guidance on. All calls will be handled by a CFP or a licensed financial expert. They currently have five different packages ranging in price from $299 to $399. Unlike their management fee for your portfolio, this is a one-time fee. The packages are as follows. Getting started package. This is for new customers who want confirmation from a professional that they've set up their account correctly. Then there's the financial checkup package. These are for customers who would like a professional review of their investment portfolio and their current situation. Then there's the college planning package. This is for parents or guardians who are looking to send their children to college in the next five to 18 years. And then you've got the marriage planning package. This is for engaged or newly married couples to get advice around combining assets and accounts. And then there is finally the retirement planning package. This is for anyone who has started saving towards retirement and wants to see if they are on track and investing correctly for their goals. These are great deals because you likely won't be able to speak to a financial planner for less than that. It can be especially good if you just wanna talk about one specific goal or plan. Then there's Betterment Checking. Betterment has launched the Betterment Checking account, which is a free checking account that works seamlessly with Betterment's other products, the Cash Reserve and their Robo Advisor. This account has a lot of great features. You can get ATM fees reimbursed directly to your account worldwide where Visa is accepted. Uh, you've got Visa foreign transaction fees reimbursed. You've got mobile check deposit, no monthly maintenance fees, no minimum balances, and no overdraft fees. And checking is FDIC insured up to $250,000. This account is promising and will likely compete well with the best free checking accounts currently out there. Then there is Betterment Cash Reserve. Betterment Cash Reserve is Betterment's cash account. The Cash Reserve account is a cash management savings account that has a top yielding account with no fees. In fact, the account is outside the management product, so you'll get the full APY on your money. As of the time of this recording, you can earn 5.5% APY and deposits are insured by the FDIC up to $1 million. So in the end, is Betterment worth it? At The College Investor, we love Betterment for the fact that it's so easy. Every single part of the process is simple and intuitive. You don't get charged any transaction fees. You start investing with practically nothing and your money is invested based on your risk profile. This is exactly what a beginner needs when it comes to investing. To open an account with Betterment, check out the link in our video description as it supports this channel. Thanks so much for hanging out today, everyone. This is Andy from The College Investor. We'll see you in the next video.